Hello, this is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Markets Tomorrow, the daily market analysis show where we look at what happened in the market today. And we will also look forward to what good trend plan can be made for the next day. So we had a, we had a uh, bounce today, actually, it recovered from the bottom, right? And then, but it was weak, you know, but we gained 1% nearly. And we ended up in decisive loss. Let's look exactly what we are talking about right so as usual we'll be doing the pre-market analysis for december 22nd in a stage tomorrow 2021 and we'll look at all of these parameters of the charts right in the coming slides we'll be doing that and then in addition to that we'll do some further analysis on all of these parameters that we see on the right side so what do we have here today a big bearish kick happened yesterday and today look at what happened it bounced from the bottom okay it was a good bounce and it went above the previous day's high also but it ended up as a bull trap and end of the day it is indecisive small body handle right so the market is indecisive on what to do but look at bank nft it didn't even go above the previous day's high but it did bounce that bounce could not sustain and formed at an inside bar fully engulfed by the previous car, previous candle, right? So it indicates that the bank nifty was not supportive enough. But what is the gain? 157 points, that's nearly 1% of more because of the bounce, right? The bounce uh, actually it went to 300 above and then it gave up half of that and ended up at 150 points. So that's exactly what happened. So the bounce happened with Fibonacci 50 one level so this is a 51 for the last swing and uh, that was a good decent bounce right and bank nifty half a percent only gained so as i said right, it formed an inside bar which indicates most likely a consolidation more of a consolidation but there was a gain in the end of the day 168 points right in the action if you see this is what happened right? gapped up and an inverted v shape fall right all the gains gave it up and ended up where it opened but still that gap whatever gain is there that was written on 150 points if bank nifty kept up gave up all the gains and even more and then ended up previous days close and then did a bounce once again and the gain 150 points that's what happened during the right price action so inverted v choppiness as a big school of right so what are the bands what are they indicate it indicates that the blow bands are expanding the volatility on the downside same the blow bands expanding the volatility you no know, way right? it did not consolidate or skews or you no know, further contract as we thought earlier last two days it has slipped and it looks like it's walking on the bands of the Bollinger Band and this is definitely indicative of further bearishness for cut trading. That's what the bands are saying. Okay. And support resistances, if you see. So the last, uh, so today was it just taking the support, look at this, it's 16,700 or 16,750. That's going to be the first support. If that breaks, then you go back to 16,550, 16,650, that range. Then, if that also goes, you go back to 16, 50, 50, which is the previous swing low. Right? And upside, you have the first resistance that it met actually 16,900 is a Fibonacci 38. So, that will act as the resistance and exactly where that's where it stopped at and stopped and then till the bull, bull trap and then reverse back. Right? So, that can into the resistance first on the upside. After that, you have 7,000 resistance and uh, this is the previous swing low. And above that, you have 7,000, 200 to 300 pan and then above that, you have. 17 350 and 17 400 that range and above that 17 500 600 17 500 600 range only if there is a dc close above that would the lower high lower low will get negated until then there is every likelihood that we can have more corrections so that means even if it further goes we just have to wait patiently till 17 500 is clearly closed or conquered Bank to similarly, you can see that the downside first support would be 34,350, 34, Fibonacci 61 is that, that's what it has taken support today also. 
And if that breaks, you go back to the previous single low of 33, 950, 34,000 range of levels. And if that breaks, you go to 33, 800, 32, 800, and 32, That 400, 800, 32,000. That would be the support and down. So in the upside, you have 35,000, which is going to be the resistance. You need first one, and then 35, uh, 600 or 900 is the next one. And then above that you have 36, 300, 600, no, which is the Fibonacci 50 level. So that's the resistance to the upside. Right, and above that you have 37,100. 37,000, no, that, that, that zone is where the resistance to the upside. So that's what bank of the resistance and supports are there. Making all of these levels, no, it helps you to have a a clarity on a longer time frame so when you're doing intraday also if these levels are marked and clear you, know, you will not get into a long you know prior to you not basically get into a, you know, long distance when you're going long or short because you know you no know, the trend reverses the trend changes at this particular level you know exactly where to enter and where to exit so keep it not these are very important support and distance levels it may sound simple but that's the most crucial thing in the Technologies understanding more exactly to exit and enter based on the sub resistances, right? So, then what demands we have seen. So, momentum, if you see it is uh, bearish, continue to be bearish on the Nifty and the Bank Nifty, right? It's below RSI 40, so we call it bearish. Now, there is a diluted, diluted because it has large number of bars in the diluted momentum divergence, which is bullish in nature means and it is kind of confirmed because it is spiked up today spiked up today it is there in nifty and the bank nifty also so this is the level is because the price is falling and the momentum is on the opposite side rising up right? price is falling momentum is rising the only really problem is the larger the number of bars are there for this divergence less effective it will be but in case it works uh, it can take you back to 16 5, 17, 500 and above so it can take you back to the 37 400 kind of levels right it's possible but there is some divergence that is diluted on the short term daily candle lights there medium term it's um, you know it's sideways momentum is in the sideways trend indicator radiates you know it's showing bearish since dmi negative both on nifty as well as in uh, bank nifty medium term also it's negative but the strength of that is not rising up like it is in the short term where the bearishness trend is rising up you can see that the green adx strength is rising up day by negative day by negative adx strength rising in the short term it's about uh, trend and now we have volatility right india weeks hold off red bulls and off force and settled at 17.53 it had shot up uh, you know nearly 20 percent or above yesterday but it is cooled off today seven percent and now we have the volatility little we still at a high volatility 18.2 19.3 right anything about 20 you have to be careful right so it's actually today it's 17.53 implied volatility is what is 18.29 the index is 17.53 right abp is friendly 58.47 that gone to 70 above but it has cooled off today so India VIX seems to be within a volatility range, seems to be in a range of 15, 20, 20, even above 21 also. But anything above 20, you have to be very cautious because choppiness can be too much to handle. And also, you never know when it goes towards, right? You could go to 80 also, right? So you never know when it cools off and you don't know when to do an option selling or you know, whatever based on the volatility strategies. Now, open interest data analysis, if you see. This is left nifty. Look at this all green. All green is a cold writing. A lot of cold writing is get, got added up here for the day after tomorrow's expiry. Bank nifty. It's all the dominating thing is the cold writing, right? As cold writing is seen. So look at nifty. Maximum put writing is seen at 16,000 and 16,500 after that. For the 23rd December to expiry, weekly expiry. The maximum call rating can be seen at 17200 and after that 17500. Right? And put call ratio has improved to 0 0.66 after today's bounce. Open interest data on the futures is showing it's not going. Short going is kind of bullish. 
Sometimes it can be more powerful than police also. So people of short has now gone. Uh, her turn to be bullish. That's what it indicates short covering. But short covering build up in the futures indicates that, right? Hang a frame. 34,000 is and 34,500 after that. That's where the highest put writing as of now for the next expiry is 36,000 and 37 both have got good large amount of call writing. That means that's where the resistance is going. Coin 6 again, it's don't not to be bearish at least, you know, with a put call ratio of 0.6 for both the lines. So short covering is reflected in the features of option interest also on the magnitude, right? So that's what the open interest so open interest data. These levels has to be matched with the support and resistance that we talked about. The confluence that will give you an idea where exactly. So this also so what does open interest analysis well, tells you? It tells where the maximum resistance is going to be there and maximum uh, support is going to be maximum, right? Support resistance levels on the charts gives you where all the resistances are there. So this will narrow down it further to where the maximum is there, right? That's what the use of the open interest analysis. Now Look at the green today. What should I do? Right. Today you have the large indices, land size, so ACH, TLCI, INFI, TCS, all of them has moved turned green. So that's why market move not, sus not sustained because of some selling that most by might be the FI selling but I have actually. That's a total performance is uh, it's green everywhere. All the sectors have moved up, two percent up on the ID. Metal uh, three percent up, auto one or, or, almost one percent up. From all is almost one percent up. FMCG nearly one percent up. Reality is one point six percent up. So everything is fine, but the short term momentum is to catch up with sideways and all. And we are in reality, we are in um, FMCG and uh, all others. It's sideways. For my auto metal IT, yeah, momentum is better on the short term as compared to the FMCG reality. The world is remain. It's remaining in the bearishness. It is not actually caught up after it lost it. Right? So we'll have to wait for that to catch up before we can pick up a sector to be bullish and then add the stocks in that. That was that um, approach of top down approach. You cannot do it unless you get further clarity on it. Right? In social participation, yesterday also, 3500 crores is sold. Today also, you know, a good amount of selling might have happened from the fire set. But according to the domestic institutions are also buying the major funds basically. Look at the 30,000 crores of selling has happened only in the of hardly 20 days. Still 10, 12 days are left for this month. So, huge selling for the fine which continues to be a concern and continues to be a solid reason why the market is falling. And uh, you can see that the um, currency index has cooled off. And the US the uh, US dollar index DXY has cooled off it means it's consolidating since after it has broken out from that big level of uh, resistance there is uh, two of them were taken out easily and then after that's consolidating and uh, our currency USD and our currency per trade then she also seems to have cooled off and taking a support from her rock out earlier right crude has cooled off yesterday it uh, cooled off quite a lot below the you know, 65 kind of levels and then it bounced up and today it is uh, once again trying to move but right so as long as it maintains anything below 70 it should be good for our economy and eventually the markets also right so gold is consolidating the very same zone since long time and it's doing the same thing although it uh, did attempt to break out from there but uh, Kind of halted and then again consolidating the same slowly. Let's dive for 400 points plus yesterday, but it's not open it. But uh, as of now, the time of recording of this, no big moves are seen, but green is there. No, no, so now this market seems to have recovered from the fall that had happened uh, two days back. The global sell off has stopped. Uh, kind of, so you can be sure you have to see this at the pre market tomorrow. All, all of these indices, Dow Jones is the first one, then the NASDAQ, and then the S&P 500, and then the UK, right? the European markets of CAC and uh, DAC, and all of these indices. If you see any significant move on, significant in the sense, uh, it's higher, no, 200 points down or 200 points up, or 1%, 1.5% down, up, or, so whichever way. So if you see big moves, it's most likely will reflect in the SGX also, Singapore exchange. So 
The six standard nifty is also reflecting that and showing big moves if the fgs is flat or no, no, no 50 points on no, uh, 50 70 kind of points moves up or down uh, it does not give any clue but if there is a big move that is reflected in this x then definitely there is every like clue that least in the open up you know, pre-market or the opening up the market will reflect the same but small moment you know and even if it is uh, having a big um, one-sided move it will reflect initially but there is a big chance that it can change our uh, during the trading sessions to, uh, to uh, during the day that is possible but yeah it's kind of an indicator to place your bets on the opening of the market that's all yeah so action was to be pro look at this trending beautifully in a weekly trending trend line channel right very beautifully it takes up out there bounces up goes it's a general door bounces up so it has regained the weekly momentum also in the bull zones and uh, one of the rare few stocks which uh, continue to have weekly and daily bullish momentums even now that means above and size 16 right that's very few stocks are that as of now because when the market corrected all of them lost either to sideways or bearish so that's a good thing. this is a good thing even for the long term and doesn't bang it's very weak it's on the short side this is a major support if watch out for this both are swing trades or positional trades right not in trading so watch out for this in the next couple of days if this gets broken this is a multi-year support from 2015 or 14 right so if that's broken and if it goes down then it doesn't bang we'll have serious trouble but it, you have to be very careful right it can go just below and then bounce back all that is possible but Watch out for this space. This support is broken means we have we have no support around it. It means it can be a big fall because it's a major, major multi-year support. So this is something that you can look for. But if in case not crashes big, this can give an opportunity for short Interesting bank and fit pro long side, right? Both those things. So, so wrap up moderate variations continues to be my view. The reason is because Chart patterns tell that it is bearish. Support resistance tell that it is getting broken. It is at resistance and all that. Momentum price momentum shows its bearishness. Bearish trend indicator ready. Selling institution selling is continuing every day. So index is today. Today's action. If you see, it's a, it's a bounce, but it's a weak bounce because the candle it's a, it's a red candle with the indices here small body. Then the market is indices. Bank Nifty did not do anything. Did not support the nifty it did bounce up gained some points but it gave up it, it did a inverted v shape fall and then slight bounce happened the end of the was to a close right bull right. demands again saying that it, the no, the lower band is for is expanding and bearish can continues what it can spill out further on downside is what clearly bands are also indicated so there's no other view other than more respirations so as I said before, even if it is bouncing, it should bounce and go and clear off the 17500 decisively. Only then we can say the lower high, lower low pattern is broken. Until that is done, not done, it will give false curve, we will go long and then trapped. So you have to be cautious on that, mindful of that. Which is good enough today, but if it is so, but it's still at 18, near to 18 levels, so it's high wicks and anything about 20, be very careful rather stay away. And also, there's a time to sell for quality stocks on the market is down, and then for the December price, you can get quality stocks for long term investment. You can do that, and uh, short side options, buying and selling opportunities can come in, provided you just have your stop losses tight in the heads portion, or or use the heads portion strategies like what and spreads. And, uh, so, that's the way to go. This is something I repeat every day, the last paragraph, but uh, that, that's the approach that you should have for the option, the option trading strategies in this kind of market. There's no point in uh, changing this that is exactly what we need to do as long as there is a cyclical change that happens again right at this phase of market that remains uh, it does not change every day so that's what i have hope it helps you to form your own uh, your own trading plans and your own view on the market and all that right if it helps you anyway consider hitting the like button and share it to your friends so that it benefits all of us thanks so much happy trading happy learning thanks for watching bye